So fellow Ambazonians, fellow Southern Cameroonians, welcome once more for this platform, the No Connie Talk Show. I've been on a host, Comrade Capo Daniel, Lukong Sense Pass King, on a Ambazonian FBI. I want time for welcome all on a once more for this platform. It don't be a while where I never get time for can be. As soon as no ground work plenty too much and it take we all time. We need to get time again for come again like how we did come before. Because at the end of the day, not ground zero matter. So we focus all our energy for ground zero. So I want to welcome all now. Today I get a very short presentation. What I give again for now. Today now already number 19 day for the month for May 2020. And on uh, Hong Kong time, I think say for Ambazonia now it will be about uh, 7 o'clock p.m. Unfortunately, oh, it don't come back. I know be the first from my line. So people that I indicate for Mrs. or another activist and they online. But it already matter when I know so the focus now for deliver our message. No be any popularity con contest. So people that feel always come back and watch them and not and it be too late. So I need to deliver my presentation for now. So all man be highly welcome. We will start our presentation as usual. We will start with play with our songs on some way come up for inside Savannah States. And we'll get a lot of things that will cover them and we will be very, very fast. And all man be very highly welcome. <laughs> Ambali squad. You're welcome. So today we get a very specific message for deliver and for ground zero and for deliver and for specific people then for inside the struggle. And also for give now wait we matter two updates for the diplomatic push as well as wait we happen for ground zero. I we done talk last time about our preparation for our soldiers, the new forces, the world and recruit them. I will give on some of those videos. And I want to just thank Una as well for the wonderful support we will and for the ADF. We will be stronger and stronger every day. And our momentum it will be high. So we will hope so if we meet up with all our challenges of Ground Zero, in particularly with supplies. So all man be welcome. So I will play with I'll play first. I'll first start with our national anthem. As our tradition, I'm not gonna take so much time. I will start for our national anthem after I go play some one song for welcome all man and then we we'll go good during that time I go salute all man like uh, as we always do then I will go ahead for do my presentation where it be very very important so I want to say make air on a place on a day no matter who's on a day make on a join me for sing our national anthem on a stand up for place on a day on a pay some few rest some small respect for our forces on the ground for those who don't go live we it did remind we of who will be and wait and wait will we fight for. So any place we did take this moment for turn up with me for pay respect for our national flag and a very important symbol for our revolution and for our identity. We we'll get a lot of things that for put and for now today and I know <laughs> we don't shift gear. We'll be now na we we'll the run ground zero for Ambazonia's sake. For the victory for Ambazonia, and we'll continue for the expand our collaboration. And we hope Semi Oman will facilitate that process and for empower even those who are not in direct partnership with us but they are fighting for the same cause. We also want to encourage them. My mandate have been to unite the Savannah states. I've done just that with the, the results <coughs> are just incredible. Just incredible. There is no general in the Savannah states. Who is not in contact with us who is not trying to collaborate with us as a matter of fact we have had just too much too much forces that it is more challenging now to manage them and to carry out our operations that we have planned because you know the adf already have our own plan to carry out our own liberation actions it is very challenging but we are working very hard to bring in the new guys people who have been engaged with the county by county stuff some of them we need to give them proper political education as well so that they know what they are fighting for they have to also know our code, uh, our, our code of conduct and things and like that so maybe we'll stand up we'll go for our national anthem for any place on a day when i turn up with me maybe we'll sing our national anthem <coughs> and i go come back and salute una i don't see my brother the me place with the yes we will talk all places all monday all man will salute all man for this so maybe we're gonna join with our national anthem <laughs> Glory, 
We the Ambazonians pledge our loyalty. Praises to our Savior who granted us our freedom. Allegiance to the hero who bore this land with your blood. From glory to glory we rise never to fall. Here in a nation flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to the Father for making you a nation a joy forevermore. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meet in our need. And your children shall be like the stars above, the Most High God being the watchman of this nation. Ambazonia, land of freedom, you shall live in plenty, meet in our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The Most High God being the watchman of this nation. The Most High God being the watchman of this nation. The nation of Ambazonia. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow country people, them, I welcome Una for this new episode for the No Connect Talk Show. We'll get some very powerful message for Deliverance for Ground Zero. Some very good updates for give una make una know us how our struggle they go concerning negotiation or una dialogue or whatever way they go. I will tell una the update way I be get for gam for una the report concerning the bui, the bui, uh, the whole bui states. I uh, see whole lamb because uh, Colonel Bella they so he ojo the way them bring them. Would it put one or two things them together for see how we collaborate because I be do this one independently. Be do it see they do them independently. But within the same system. So, but I need to see present Una. The in depth Una go shock which way it happened for inside Bui. But we'll be, we'll be very happy to say we don't make a lot of progress with the soldiers and with the day under the Bui warriors them, and they don't begin to see the light. And uh, Una ran yes, the murder from Bieme, one of the phone he, he, he driver, then they come over for house, he woman be there for day, then Kili. I will also talk, I will give Una some of those things them as well. And I will talk about Frank B.I. a video where he come with the random release. Some that video, na old video, I will tell you now. The time I will be make my live show for tell you, I say Frank B.I. will be one of the people that they consider me replace Mr. Paul B.I. Now the time where that video will happen, I will give you now all those updates, which we mean for our plan for our national liberation, which we mean for the takeover plan. I will also tell you now the situation where they develop for, for inside the Republic, their plan for reconstruction and, where they, and their, their communication with uh, Chris Anu. And uh, Ikome, I will give you all those information. And more importantly, we will honor one of our greatest hero, the founder, the person we naive bring ADF for instance, Fako we naive can install the ADF camp for the general, general boss killer. If it and die, it and make one year ago, we need to honor them because that is who we are as ADF. We take care of our own for our nation's sake. We owe them a lot, and there is nothing we can we cannot ever pay them enough. We will continue to pay them. For, the, for a thousand generation. So I will play some song for welcome all and then I will go directly for our presentation for today. For this should not wait to go present up on Unfortunately, I know we don't be able for to come online like I did do before or forgive my podcast as I did do because the work for Ground Zero is plenty. When I see her for Savannah State, we don't do it. How would I mix by men are fine? We don't give the carry on the operation. Sleepless night, it don't go on very, very effectively. We don't get back uh, new supplies, supplies that don't be delivered, and everything they go on perfectly well, perfectly well. All the attempt for spoilers, them they wouldn't beat them all completely. Wait till they go on for the international community. I will also update you now. Very, very important stuff. So, but first, ma, take time for welcome all my way. Then come, I will play one music from the Savannah State as well. And uh, some issue they be there from Bonge, who I'll be supposed to handle them today. I want to apologize to those people that didn't call me, wouldn't talk for some of the general of Mbonge. Unfortunately, I know if it am up for upper Bayang area, for lower Bayang area, all those areas, then those issues, them I go see try for handle them tomorrow. I will try to do shows more frequently so that the things already come up with the handle them, meetings they need to accumulate. For don't let the people that know, also for Ndop, the issue the way it happened for Ndop, where they then begin seeing a killer them from Kambe, me they can pick up people from Ndop, carry them go to them right for Kambe. Kambe then be a breeding. Place for the enemy 
forces them for Bikin Gada, they prepare for their operation them. It'd be unacceptable. We have to do something about that. They don't begin to fix Kambe. They pretend like they, they love them, but they don't love them at all. We need for, for reactivate, which we were planned for Kambe, where we don't be put on hold. We need for reactivate them. The incident, the way they happened for Oko, the big, big news, and the way they come for o Oko with uh, Bush Rambo. I will bring up those, all those issues them for my next presentation. I just want to tell Namu and Nosa, I forget all those things. Then I say time in no day. The most important thing that I say would be our win so bigly, both on the ground and on the diplomatic side. We are not even, and we don't even see the need of a for so for be so much on social media anymore. So, but in any case, wata na wata. Now time for me for salute all man. And today my first thanks salute go go na for Lum Brenda. <laughs> Lum Brenda, true salute. Ma give na this uh, small song for inside the Savannah State. Me go enjoy them. I will take that time for salute all man. My people then for for UAE, UAO on a UAE how on a call on a country. And uh, all people then for China, the one for Italy, I hope so on the cope with coronavirus. Ma come back and salute on a Usara song a day. Okay, now the song this year. Now give me some more minute. Ma play this song. Okay. <laughs> Now some for correct people, no be caught some for small picking them today. Hey, now some for heroes. Biko Khan, welcome, my brother. All you do welcome. You know, say people that they want to say Biko Khan, I'm a quick number. I didn't even speak to my Biko Khan. Welcome, Lawrence. Welcome, Ramata. Welcome to the house. Welcome to Welcome to the house. Welcome to the house. Welcome to the house. to don't forget my palabra will go hard at the time. A salute all man to house. Coco Amba, welcome. I call this salute to all Una, all Una for abroad. A peace and day, a peace and day. Holy flesh, are you welcome? Rosita Young, welcome. George Mwani, John John, welcome. Mambo Fida, welcome. Padiman, welcome. JKB Wimbledon. Cafe, your first day, your first day. That's my mentor. I'm proud to call him my mentor. Somebody I learned from him. I watched him for a long time. He's a hero. He's a hero. Rohinda, welcome. It's been a distance. It's been a distance. Just move aside. Do what? Where's the way to say the difficult part? I will say the ambassador flag. But when you do the difficult part, I will say the ambassador flag. <laughs> Maria Kelly, welcome. Everybody, will up. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to the house. Get a lot of people. I will try to be very, very far. I promise the will be better than the one who will come to Africa later on. God is the people. Take a view to one of the guys. It's one of the best people. So much. So much. Yes, I sacrifice as a young man all his life over the world. Are you poor? You are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> As long as you are welcome, and uh, everybody in the house is welcome. We could arrange this bit for us. We need to wait for get 100 or 200, <laughs> 200 viewers, uh, and they do want a new platform. We know that they don't block me for Facebook, but we look every way for comeback. And if you do watch me now, that means you are one of the one percent most important people in Ambazonia. Because that is what matters. It is your influence that matters. It's not entertainment that matters. That's why we focus on our substance. We focus on our influence to make sure that we are ahead of the game. We are ahead of our enemies and all their infiltrators and their spoilers so that we can get to Boya timely. So I want to welcome all man for house again once more. I want to I don't already salute all now and for salute all people that have the various constituency or the mission heads them. For the egg of sea, I want for Saloduna. 
or the coordinator for Ground Zero, I want for Saloguna, I be need for come to the last time for come explain for the Ambazonian people and the system will run put them for ground. No, before begin create power base, me people they start begin fight say, hey, na me abidi wa na me abe the boss no na thing that for make coordination meeting that they go fine. So for all the various states them for Ambazonia, all the thirteen states them except Bakasi, they don't get a coordination a platform way they, they coordinate things the local people the way they feel they interact for know the specific things the way their own country people they, they suffer. No, be saying I posture for advocate for our struggle, not just a platform. So that me any person where they for your own village, you feel easily know which way they happen for your area, you feel easily try for help for time where we will not feel help. No be place for come make us send us on parliament or on some kind of power base. No. So we don't try for make sure semi coordinator then they for every state where they feel the coordinate between us and the forces, they feel the coordinate between various factions them as well. Now the perfect system that we're supposed to be. So all man be highly welcome for the house. Mommy fine picking that I see you. <laughs> Welcome, welcome for house. Uh, Brian Ashu, welcome. So we'll go directly into our 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 program for today. I not go give una an open statement because of lack of time now, already 2 a.m. for Hong Kong time. But we don't we don't see the video the way they come out for, for Manfe, the mayor for Manfe way, the Bikili, Ashu Priestley. We'll be done to give warning for all those who, who facilitate the election of La Republic in our territory. All those who participate in those elections would tell and say we will not go forget. Unfortunately for, for Mr. Ashu Priestley Ojong, he died in this incident. I don't I'm not sure I'm not very involved because that is not my jurisdiction. So I'm reporting on this case like an activist. Uh, my, my, in my own jurisdiction, I would have preferred that all those people should be arrested and kept under the same condition that our soldiers are forced to live under. That's how I believe so we're supposed to do them. So the international community then wake up very, very hardly for, for criticize Ambazonia for the death of Mr. Ojong Priestley. But one talk say the life of Ojong Priestley, you know, pass the one them where they kill him every day for Ambazonia. The life of Ojong Priestley, a, an imposter, person where he did for inside a mayorship where they no vote. The people of that area for Manfred, they no vote for being a mayor. It is, it is, it is also fight for day for day. Not be only for fight for day, but it go against the will of the people. So he is an agent of La Republic du Cameroon. We acknowledge say he no be na a combatant, but he be an aide and he de help La Republic du Cameroon for attack our people. Then when I look he die, when I see he die na he that, when I see a killer they had them flock for day, no be the people that for boya, na for show na. So there is no regret for his death. I no get no regret for the death of Mr. Ojong Priestley. Na for send a warning for all those other people the way they play this rule. Say me then deceive for aid a foreign power. The ADF will not kill non-combatant. That is not our policy. But in a case of war, things bad things can happen. Not things that may be sanctioned by the leadership. They can go there to arrest him and they get into a firefight and he was killed in that cause. I have no details. I have not even seek to look for any details because I don't think he's so important more than the other people who did work at Kikila for Ambazonia, the one where they cock the head every day. So Mr. Ojong Priestley, when he go me go salute Ekema. Me the Shidong go place to a Kema, then they fine. And I've a send message for all the other, the all mayor, them way the Dango Shidong for that position, whether na mayor, whether na duo, or whether na parliamentarian, or whether na senator. We the back, we na make we na Komogo stay for Yaoundé. We not get no intention, I will repeat again, the ADF have no intention to kill politic politicians. We are not there to kill politicians. We are not there to kill non combatant and the international community have to know that. But things like this happen. Once you put yourself on the cross path of a people who are at war, anything can happen. They can come to arrest you. Those boys can come to arrest you. And there is an exchange of gunfire and you are dead. So our people have to get that message. They have to get that message that every mayor, I'm also coming after the mayor in Bamenda. I don't want to bring his name up now, but I'll bring his name and his picture. Paul Ashung. Achobang Paul. Achobang Paul, the mayor of Bamenda, wouldn't get a passive approach towards you. I'll talk for you like the deputy defense chief for the Savannah States. I'll play the rule of a semi-governor for that territory, for that 
savannah states all those forces them for the for the ambazonia defense forces our forces and our coalition forces we are the vanguard of our people's aspiration our people have refused to give the consent to govern that is where the government take its power to rule you must seek for consent to govern our people have rejected la republic they have come out in their numbers to say that no we don't want this system we want an exit an ambazonian exit from la republic yet they have put you there to be an impostor would not take a passive approach for you mr achubang paul but you don't start making the go for every ghost town making the auction foot if your intention be being for help the suffering people then for bamenda you for choose another date but the fact that you don't choose now a Monday, our passive approach for you will end. It will end. We are going to pick you up. We are going to arrest you for aiding and abetting the colonization of our people and for fighting against the revolution of the people of Ambazonia for their liberation. Uh, this is not a death threat, but I'm telling you that we are going to put you under arrest to question you and to sanction you for your illegal activity on behalf of a foreign power in Ambazonia. You are hereby warned. I will advise you, Mr. Paul Achubang, to leave Ambazonian territory with immediate effect. With immediate effect. Because where you are, we are going to pick you up. And your activities should stop. Full stop. I'll leave them for day. So, wait to what will be done the talk am, ever since about La Republic du Cameroon. How did the worker broke store them? They recount sometimes she should gun them, fighting people they made them go, broke store them, thief mobile phone, broke store them, thief or thing them, looting. They even carry even mantras them, they can't carry mantras, carry and go to them Buddha. Today, we don't see what to happen for instance, Victoria. For instance, Victoria, La Republic du Cameroon, they come for instance, bar, and this one I see. People that they drink for instance, bar, then dress like the same like Amber Boy. Now, thing and this way, they happen for Chubo, for Bamenda. Now, then that, train men them. I want to ask you, they release their name for, for press for inside uh, inside Ambazonia Day. One in them, Nambida, Le Grand. Another one, him, Na Hippolyte, Yusuf. Now, La Republic, they are thief. Picking and this way, they send for our territory. They work at thief people, then they de blame them for Amber Boys. Now then down I see military men then dress like civilian for inside Victoria for broad daylight. Thieves. Now a cursed country this. We don't know what that I go carry we go put a body by lock. When I see them, the military man and that's all. Robbing people in broad daylight. Thief. Thief Franco found the way that I'm a virus. These people are virus. These are Egyptians. These Egyptians that you see in Ambazonia, you should pray that you will not see them tomorrow. And our job is to make sure that you will not see them tomorrow. Thieves. Thieves. So, do you want to happen about the state of Fako? So, for Victoria, our general way day for day, they will reconstitute themselves, but they need to expedite things at all. When I now see the video where they release them about Frank Bia, we go for if we go for the death for uh, now for the death for Usman, one Usman Alamin, Usman Alamin. If we no know Usman Alamin, we na remember find time where WikiLeak if he leaks some document about the the uh, the Caribbean offshore banking, money laundering for La Republic where Paul Bia they carry money go hide them. Now Frank Bia be be the masterminder for the one for La Republic for do that money laundering and they be the use now this man Usman. For begin hide that money. Now the man that died, now for he die away, we don't see the video. They don't show him how the Frank Bia. He don't go for them. I put up the video. Me gonna see him. So now he this, now the Frank Bia, this for the Usman, he, he, he die. And wait, wait, this one mean. When I remember last time, I, I tell you now how the, the French government. They did make three choices and for see who will replace Mr. Paul Bia. Look at a convoy. Very, very poor convoy. You not know, get the type of protection where Mr. Paul Bia he get them. And a very good news this for Ambazonia. Because Mr. Paul Bia is the best hope for Ambazonia for get freedom. Yes, now a killer, now a murderer. 
But the unpopular with the international community, they give us the best chance for we forget our independence. The best case scenario be being I say, me the poor beer and a Bulu Betty clan, then try for fight against the French and Switzerland, their their scheme for replace them. So it be, it, it will give you a best chance for we forget our independence and it could do fit the pe it will be na we we'll get diff, se several scenario the way our expert they don't think I'm, but this one are the best case scenario. Say me the French, the Bulu Betty clan, we probably get them for the me then try for work out a deal with the with the house of them. As soon as he goes salute na, na, na that former minister that they call the man uh, Minister Usman. Usman Alamin. Alamin my my uh, May. Now the former minister that way he can salute you. They did try to work out some deal between Mr. Paul Bia and the Bulu people. They will fight against the French people. They want to replace it. They want to fight for the men for power. Saying that they will maintain that system. And at the best case scenario, that because the French people they know say if Paul Bia and a group, this is their bank of spoiled politicians. They remain for that country and Bazunia will go because the international community no go feel allow this their drama where they play for Bazunia me continue forever more. So we'll be very happy for CC that I release this video. And it shows that Frank Bian already get the support for the military. It means that the, the information will be the get them. Say they don't change military guard them for inside your own. They will be in a correct information. You know, see protection be very, very weak. The entourage be very, very weak. If you see body movement, it looks like a person where they can't come back. You know, see how body movement is shows in a person where they can't come back. So it shows say poor Bia, the Bulu Betty, they're not be willing for leave power. This is their curse, generational curse. They want to continue. I know the thing where we Ambazonia people they will feel day day again. We need for commodity to reinforce our will for leave the union with La Republic du Cameroon. So then the video that oh Naransiam and uh, the die way we go for the for attend for this video. No be no be new video because I look at the no weather mask now before this coronavirus. Now during that time we can tell on I say they did try for come up with from beer as a, as a possible replacement. So we do want to thank our informer the way they did for inside day they do a wonderful job. We want to thank them. And we do want to tell say one of the greatest victory we would not get them for our strategy for ground zero for win La Republic. Now the crumbling of their economy, our economic sabotage, our taking away from them, the resources the way they exploit them from we from CDC, PAMO, and all those cash crops the way they export them. And we need to reinforce them because as we see the result them, it is showing how good it be. Now as it day, they don't announce them for Duala for their capi economic capital for Duala. Ma put up the picture for La Republic du Cameroon. Say, say come come water. It go cut water for Duala. Not be because of water problem, but because of lack of electricity. They don't become me short of electrical power. Their extra generation will be supposed to the power those those these are those water pumping station. I, me, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I work with the water filtration, so I know those type of machines. It does not take so much power to power those machi machines. La Republic du Cameroon is crumbling. They are at the verge of collapse. They are using even the International Monetary Fund to make fake announcement to boost their morals, but they are finished. All their major foundation of their economy is crumbling. They don't begin now the cause of their Bulu BT people. They don't put plenty in them inside the system. They collect money for good salary them. They don't begin telling them they stop all those practices them. Now, but tell them now a crumbling regime. They cannot continue to prosecute this war for another two years. The Republic that even begin telling now for kill their own soldier they for Northern Cameroon. For inside their, they call that Kalifata or other place they fight inside, fight Boko Haram. Because they feel say, now the only issue that way if you give them a line a, a lamb line. I go see come back and take my time for update Una about the the, the the discussion will be happen for America with their diplomat them where they release a document. The the guy for Canada, the the, the professor of Canada will be give an in-depth analysis of our crisis. I go take time for explain some of those issues them for the and some of statistics the way I'm bring away. Nothing will be do them on the surface, but it get an in-depth information way. We are need for no. We will win La Republic and we are winning very fatly. Within this three period, these three years, the achievement will not get them, the impact will not get them for La Republic to come around them, beat the, exp the expectation of every single country. If you even take the example for Sudan, the amount of time with the amount of weapon with Southern Sudan they will get them from Uganda with all their international support them. 
they know if you get the amount of economic impact what they get for the Republic of Cameroon, who then cut down their GDP far beyond their sustainable level. Their economy is crumbling and they cannot sustain this war for another two years. They will crumble. With the economic, the, the transition problem they have, the age of Mr. Pobia and all those issues, it is shown as say, Ambazonia, we will beat them. Shame onto those people where they go sell their soul for go take cheap money from La Republic du Cameroon because they refuse it. If you can run down this, our struggle, make it calm down. So we're also here from BME, for, for instance, the state of Bui, how La Republic du Cameroon, their forces then come for day for a specific funny house from BME. They enter knock door for that funny house. A woman come off outside. They talk for a woman say, no, the fine a master. A master come out, they move away in a driver for chief. They move and shoot them. Now, a very big revolution that we will get and we will present for one later about which way it happened for Bui. The people that will be behind those killing them and how did they manipulate these people for the Bui warriors. And they really pray, take God back those of them where they did for that thing where they don't know which way it happened. Me, them abandon ship. Come off for them before they finish all our Bui people. Them. So, that thing that will happen from BMA. And this, this incident will happen from BMA because now two mechanism then the way the republic use them for fight on the ground then you get their regular forces then way they be backed up by their special forces them this is their task force them that they go from from various state to state they work attack our people but you get another side for the republic they come around their war effort we be focused now on their intelligence service this one that they work with with the with the infiltrators they did work with the with the CPDM and the SDF. They did work even with the SDF collaborators and for Ground Zero. So we just notice a trend. Say their action them, every action will be taken by these special forces them for the Republic. These are secret service their, their forces them. It always be supported by the media. That means most of the journalism for Ground Zero they already know it will happen. Because the politician then be heavily involved. Some of the local chiefs then be heavily involved. Like the killing will happen from Biamme, they know already which way come out. Even if you see people that like me for the support them. Because there is a privileged class of Ambazonians who are called Anglo fools, who are benefiting from their salaries, they have a good life, and they don't this war is an inconvenient for them. These people are supporting they want Ambazonians to be destroyed. They want our forces to be destroyed. So we are seeing this trend of these people jubilating when these specific actions are happening because most of them are aware about what is going on. And their reaction towards action carried out by the Cameroon regular military is a little bit different. Even if you look at their publications, it's a little bit different. They will come and criticize Cameroon army, but they will not criticize the actions of Cameroon secret service that they know they are carrying out by the Cameroon secret service. And most of these people are anti-ADF people. They are anti-ADF. They are trying to, if you look at their story, the way they propagate issues like the incident in um, Kugwe. They reported the incident in Kugwe, but when it came to Inye, where the, the, the youth in Kugwe arrested the phone of Inye, they did not report it. And plenty of things like that. When I see them, they, they, how did they do them? Even when they come for county by county and wait, they, they prefer to report them. The language they use that, they go tell and I see them be inside La Republic of Cameroon, their secret service because they work hand in hand with Njiangote, the office, so they know which way it happened. But I want to tell them, say, we no go spare anybody we collaborate with the Cameroon military. We no go get a passive approach. Once we get information, say you work with the Cameroon secret service, we shall come after you and we shall pick you up. We will have zero tolerance. I mean, zero in particular for Bamenda. In particular for Bamenda. Any man will share information with Cameroon military for Bamenda will lead to the death of our forces. You are gone. Now the same practice with the international community they do them. Now the same to where America they do them. So no be a surprise that. So for this past two months, I want to congratulate the Bamenda Brigade. For Bamenda, we don't catch, I mean we don't catch them with our hand. For a Kelebe them, up to now, counting up to now, I think two months till now, we don't catch four a Kelebe them and they were all neutralized in their escape and encounter attack with the Republic of Cameroon later on. 
those things are very sensitive and no need for making share a picture of them about those those things them i'll just i will not pick up the phone call now so uh, there are some other things that i'll have to just do in passing so that we'll go very fast for the most important thing we don't also hear about one of our leader the way they for inside uh insan kondengide but it's that shufai say be rushed for hospital he be very sick we stand together with you in prayers and we will fight even more be more determined for freedom because not only ak-47 go free them for place with and they will sisiko and all of them so we we'll do with prayer with, Bar with barista shufai we don't know whether them poisoning or poisoning but we'll do with you for prayer he's a sub chief in bui he's a wonderful ambazonian he's somebody who have stood his ground even in kondengi and we stand together with with Bar barista shufai Another person we want also talk about them to the next next presentation. We already take time to talk about them now. Reverend uh, Bertin, Reverend Bertin, even I know you very well before Manchu BBC, be being a Reverend Bertin. Now, my way, be done do kind kind protest. I will tell you more about you. They ran sentencing for 25 years, give you a, a penalty of five million from Konengi for on appeal. They be first sentencing for 12 years, then catch you for commission of any for no nothing. They did work at cash activism, people didn't be vocal. For no nothing, a pastor, for that matter, 25 years imprisonment. It remind we Ambazonians and say, these people, they are not willing to, to negotiate. They are not willing to let us go. We have to take it by force. We have no choice. If people like Reverend Bentin can be sentenced 25 years, my brother, and then no Ambazonia will, will live on his knee. We have to die while fighting rather than live with these people on our knee. We also see, say, for instance, the, the capital city for Boya, taxi driver, they ran protests around my 16 day, around my 17 day, for instance, Boya, because La Republic du Cameroon, the terrorist forces them, they did do it where they did do best, for work harass taxi driver, then they collect money. Una noba, una, if you don't notice, I'm going to see a so called anglophone policeman, the worker, they take money for taxi driver, then they harass them unjustly. But there are people that are over for the people hand. We know we'll not allow these things that may continue. We must fight and meet, be determined to separate ourselves with these people so that our people can live a normal life. So, we'll leave that one. I want first take time before we go further for stand for, for, for this guy over call me, my answer the call first. Are they online? We'll talk later. I'll call you back later. So, I want us to take this moment and, and greet one of our great heroes before we continue the program. He's no other person but Boss Killer. A lot of you don't know Boss Killer. I don't know whether you know him or not. But the ADF family, last week we had a tribute to him. Boss Killer is a godfather. Give me a moment, please. We want to pay tribute to Boss Killer. Boss Killer is the ADF commander. We bring the ADF for Insa Fako. It don't be one year today since Boss Killer if he die for battle for Fako. Our soldiers them the Rangada last week. Four different camps them for Insa Fako. Then gather for Insa. Bomali for commemorate the passing of our great general Boss Killer. Now one year now. Your sacrifices them will not go ever forget them. Ambazonia go owe you for a thousand generations. And I message for all our fo our fallen soldiers and their family members. Say would you take note of them? Would you keep record? We no go forget them. We will live all our life for make sure say the sacrifice we did not pay them the ultimate sacrifice you know go go for water so adios comrade as the bible did talk what a wonderful thing for a person to lay down in life me other people then live na hero na sense than this 
after all, we will all die one day. Better you die for a, a cause like this, a noble cause, as they talk, Deus a decorum air. So we stand together with all Ipikindem, Prinsa, Moyoka, all the four commander, all the four different commanders the way they can join the ceremony for inside the uh, Bomali Bay. We want to salute them. So we'll do together with them in one spirit. So I will come now for update on the way to way it happened. I will tell you on the last time, say the ADF would not double our capacity. We will not recruit new forces them. They don't train new forces them across our national territory and will grow every day. So, ma put uh, go for your ride, ma. So more and more of our forces them would then train new new forces them across our national territory for effectuate our national takeover plan and for make sure semi so that they be professional in the battlefield oh, man, and be more later. So we don't get the one a program and a video then be released because they're already go back for it, they're already be active. Bro. But we don't train our forces them more and more. Our forces they grow every single day. I mean, every single day, we we'll continue for be build a professional military for Ambazonia. We we'll continue for build an army for Ambazonia. The ADF is your vanguard, is your army, it is the future. As General Mba Ivo we talk, na ADF go lead the way in Saboya. Make we go for the website, we na support we make we give these picking them the ammunition the way they need them. We need to. Give them the ammunition to fight for our liberation, to protect their villages from Ekelebe them and from terrorist actions from the Republic of Cameroon, their forces. Now, the, now our ultimate duty that, especially, we will do for diaspora, for make sure, say, me this picket and get away to where they need them. We need for them now. No wait, Mr. Man talk for you, Mr. Man can beg you, no. Do them naturally. Like Mama Oli talk, he go even contribute for Nana, so we do for ADF. We go do it to wait. Take. We need to go buy picking them. We need to go take buy money first. Buy money first. We need to recruit, patriot them, train them very well for carry out the liberation movement of our national territory. Go to our website. Our website I for down the ttof.net and give us the support so that we can equip these people, these our children, to liberate our homeland. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. So I beg you, make you do them today. There are camps like this across our national territory where our boys and be trained, have to fight tactically and given a proper political doctrine. So when I hear the the tweet will come out from uh, Belgium, from uh, Switzerland, where the head for Switzerland government, he come he, the prangy, he can't give a tweet. <laughs> Simonetta, Simonetta, Madame Simonetta. Then it then give you a prank, say call Paul Bia when I fake Paul Bia person be the talk. He begin talk about the Swiss deal as he don't make the post. All the infiltrators, them all the HD hired agents, them the failed leader of Ambazina, then jump on top. Only for them, we can hear say be been a prank. So, would, would even if it be been a true Ambazina, they know for they need for no say was start our our. Cause it being a just cost. We no go enter for any negotiation process where independence no being a possible outcome. The Swiss process and their games where they play them now deserve to be stopped. I think it's a time for the egg of C for consider for completely reject any process that is headed by the Switzerland. We don't see how even Herman Cohen. The former Secretary of State for African Affairs for America, he don't come out, he give comment to talk about the America, their own initiative where they bring them in. We know about other countries, three other countries, the one of them because of secrecy, where they don't come up, the one come for can help for negotiate. We know of private company, the two for America, where they don't come up for come say the one can negotiate. But the Switzerland, they block people them, they, they give chance for the Republic of Cameroon for continue their genocide in Ambazonia. I think it's another time for we for stop every negotiation of and um, inform the international community that the major factions of the egg of C and the legitimate IG 
they don't want to have anything to do again with the Switzerland. If the Switzerland government be honest, they know for allow a, an, an organization like the HD for hijack a process when they don't take responsibility for follow up. It be regrettable, but I think say it will be the right thing for we for advocate for. They need to stop this drama with we. So, another thing we don't come out now the Oxford University for my next. I'll be very sorry, sir. I, I, I did rush things them now. Time in no day when I don't see how the Oxford University where the British parliamentarian the way will be done lobby them. So, they will get a big meeting with the, the president of the egg of C, the executive president. The leader of our revolution, Dr. Chua Yaba, they began go meet with them, they talk for them, then get debate for their parliament, then talk me the university as they always do, forgive them a research, they don't give them a research, they don't ask for further, they don't see the need for them to take action as a United Kingdom, they don't ask the Oxford University, the Oxford University then bring another recommendation, will be very, very good for Ambazonia. You don't talk to the, the British government need to engage, but the executive branch for the British government they don't run Komod can put out a statement for Bikin Talk say they respect the they recognize the plebiscite resort. Of course, we recognize the plebiscite resort. And then they talk to the resolution 1608. They he, he endorsed the plebiscite resort. We are not disputing that. The plebiscite resort was was uh, was even though the process was wrong, but the plebiscite resort and its intention was never fulfilled. So we all know that one. But the way we talk, I'm shallowly. They also give we, give we hope, saying they defend any illegality. He talks, he also recognize the, the territorial integrity for Cameroon. But we know say the territorial integrity for Cameroon, he end for their border when they begin them, the time when they begin their independence. And then the, the, the official for the executive branch also talks, say, then be ready for support the Swiss, the Swiss process. And they, they, they talk to me, the Swiss government, he allow other countries them and other NGOs them for join. So that one it shows that it be a little bit reasonable, but it not be enough. We who we continue to lobby the British parliamentarian and the lobby the British government as well to do the right thing and stand for the side of justice. We deserve it. It is our right under international law. And we need to remind the British people them and for tell our people the media understand. So even the British government, the first time when the one joined the European Union, it will be now for 19, the one joined the European Union in 1961. The French government veto the, the British people that mean they don't join the European Union. French government veto England, mean they don't enter Europe, uh, EU. So, but they, they eventually enter EU for 1973. Along the line, they begin a referendum as well. The British have a, a, a referendum in 1975 to remain in the, the, the European Union, which is surrendering part of their sovereignty there. Even though they had voted in a referendum where the, the, the referendum passed by 61% to join the European Union, the British people them, for 2016, they still make another referendum where they get now only 51% uh, for come out of the European Union. So, they want to have a tell and say, the right for plebiscite or referendum, you know, get no expiry date. If Southern Cameroon be done decide for join La Republic through vote, we still get that right for vote for come out. Because if you think be good for British, why not be good for Amazonia? So we need to understand even Greenland will be there for inside European Union. If you don't take a referendum for 2000, for 1982, for come out of European Union, Southern Cameroon will be in a category B territory. We means say will be will be a country, will be a state. We get we get rights to our sovereignty. A sovereignty cannot disappear. Barista Emmanuel, we be done, Barista Emmanuel, be done, Ashu Emmanuel, be done, talk the same thing. A state, a sovereign state can never disappear. They cannot disappear us. It will never happen. They will never succeed. They must come back. The international community must do the right thing. Now we'll be lowered. It may make that things a bit, a bit blocky. They need to do the right thing for give us our independence. So it will be very happy for TC to say with all this issue them. As we be done talk for now, the incident from Gabu, the Gabu massacre, the internal community them be stand up for on top of that one because Donald Trump, he be done put a benchmark say now line this way Cameroon government no fit cross them, and then Gabu incident be be now the line where they don't cross them. The Cameroon investigation now is sham. 
would you push the United Nations, me they release their own investigation because they don't interview people every day. They don't do their own investigation. American government, they call the same thing. We don't see how Thibaut Nagy, Peter Thibaut Nagy, he don't come out with a tweet. What is that tweet? Thibaut Nagy have come out with a tweet. I'm sorry, look like I know if you get that picture for the tweet. Okay, there we go. So this is a tweet from Tigo, Tibo Nagi, the Under Secretary of America. He done come out talk very, very good, very powerful. He talks to the government, the killing of civilians by Cameroon is inex inexcusable. That means that there is no excuse for the Cameroon government, their action for Issa Gabu. This for tear the Cameroon government say, Donald Trump, the American government, they never accept that their excuse. We did one try for, for take responsibility for Paul Bia for make scapegoat of a low level soldier. Paul Bia need to assume the responsibility of the commander in chief for he forces them. And the conduct for the Gabu massacre, it represents the general conduct for the for the Cameroon military who is from Amazonia. So Tibo Nagi go down for explain and say the Gabu investigation need to go through. And I hope say they talk now about the, the investigation for the United Nations because we know say the one for Paul Bia they already finished him. So if he did talk about this one, he may say he did talk about the facts finding mission or the investigation where the UN that already do and we wait for the report. So that is a big hope because we know say this particular issue now the biggest stick for against Paul Bia, the same like the one will be there for Sudan against Omar Bashir. We know how they will take that one for give Southern Sudan their freedom day. So he also condemned the attack of separatists against local officials, in particularly the mayor of Omanfe, but would want to inform Tibo Nagy and the international community. So we respect the life of innocent and non-combatant. It is not our policy to kill non-combatant or officials who are working for La Republic du Cameroon and are not involved in the fighting. But when a situation like this where these people are working and being protected by the Cameroon military, those areas that they are living in becomes a battleground, and things like this can happen. So we we will be very appreciative for Tibo Nagi award, and we pray me then go through for put more pressure for the United System, for make sure me then give a, a facts finding mission concerning the Gabu incident. Mister Paul Bia need to go to prison for this Gabu massacre. So, the other issue, them, I know if we get today, at least I don't try to come up for Kangi for now, wait till it happen. The next month, for, for the month of June, we are already to do our, our preparation for the month of June. It will be very, very big. We'll get huge military operation the way we're going to take them, we're going to launch them across our national territory. So, now, now be the best time for people then for support we, for make sure, say, by next month, we're going to be ready for effectuate the plans that we'll get them for our liberation. So may God bless Una, make our revolution it be short, may our independence it be very fast. May God give we democracy, civil liberty, and freedom for inside Ambazonia and independent Ambazonia. May God bless Una. Una go sleep fine. Now already three o'clock for here for night time. I go sleep now. Tomorrow we go continue the other in-depth presentation that I be supposed to give. I go see give Una those report as a promise. God bless Una.